Oliver, this is a, has it, the question is that, is it, has it been long enough distance between the film and now to make a movie about it? I obviously feel I think like it has. I think uh, there's, it's a process of digestion. These two men, first of all, had tremendous injuries and they had to recover. Then they had to talk, they had to reach a place where they could talk about it with their families and at that point their, their story was, uh, they researched, uh, the Hollywood uh, producers bought their story and they researched it and they wrote a script and their script takes time. And then we got involved, and then, but all together it's four or five years. We started a year ago. So it's five years, and I think it's not too soon because, frankly, the consequences of 9-11 are far worse than 9-11 itself. More people have been killed. There's been all kinds of a climate of fear in the world. I mean, I'd rather, let's deal with the day now. Let's look back now and start to say, hey, this happened. This is real. And we're at the epicenter of these, uh, two, uh, this collapse. These two men survived. They're telling us an eyewitness story, and then we can go from there into perhaps the consequences next of this 9-11. Uh, because it was subjective, like Platoon. We, we, we had to do it. To me, I could only do it from their point of view. I mean, we never, they never saw it. They didn't know what was going on. John thought there was a truck bomb that blew out the lobby. He didn't know there was a second tower that was hit. He assumed it was terrorists, but he didn't know the, the, the size of the operation. So they are, we have to li we respect the limits of subjective cinema, which is what gives it its strength, because we're with the men in the hole, we're with the families at home, we're with the Marine that rescues them. I mean, for one thing, it, it really, uh, it, did, it did burst a kind of a, a bubble, didn't it? I mean, I don't think anyone had really experienced anything in the United States quite like that before. Uh, different parts of Europe have had incidents uh, that, that can be on a similar scale, but not, not to that level, perhaps. Uh, so I think it was a real uh, alarming wake-up call. Um, but I can't speak for everybody. I just know that when I saw the images, it, uh, it was shocking and terrifying, and they've stayed with me ever since. I could answer your question. I know Oliver would probably answer it, but I'm I'm gonna just say that if I if I do answer your question, I just soon keep my politics to myself. Uh, 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 I believe that if I answer your question, I will take the viewing experience of World Trade Center uh, and and maybe rob you of your own discovery of it. It's a, I want you to go in neutral. I want you to see the story of of these people and their courage and their survival. I don't want you going in there thinking this way or that way about politics. I want you to give the movie a chance. So if I go in now and answer your questions politically, I'm going to rob you of that opportunity. This is a movie about people who have sacrificed their lives to save other people. These are true heroes. No matter where it took place, these people's stories need to be told. They're, they are innocent. They go in, cops, fire department, to save other people and they sacrifice the ability to even see their families again. Uh, and I don't want politics to eclipse that. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I think that the refreshing thing about this movie is that whatever the politics, 9-11 was interpreted so many different ways and for political ends, that it's refreshing to see a movie about just that day. In the same way that Platoon was refreshing for many people just to see about what it was like to be in combat. I've said it before, I, I think overreaction, way overreaction, but that I don't want to take away. The spotlight in this movie is, is World Trade Center is these, the families, the men, and the rescuers, and that's where it belongs. They're the, this is what it's about. I think we paid a huge price. The consequences of that day are far worse than the day. There's been far more death, far more war. There's fear breakdown of the American Constitution, in my opinion, and basically debt, a, bank, a, a huge debt that's looming. This is horrifying. I think there was mismanagement, bad leadership, and I can go on and on, but I don't think that's what this movie is about. Uh, we researched it to some degree. We talked to everybody, and we find that most everything that we saw and heard about was justified by the actual incidents that we saw. In other words, that the buildings did collapse, and engineering, uh, there's going to be dis debate about it, but when you talk to real engineers and you talk to how the building worked, it feels, it feels like it happened the way it did, yeah. 
these characters. It's a miracle, though, that I have to say that John and Will, uh, two of the five, survived because John was at the epicenter of the collapse, you understand, really in the middle. And he knew the building from 93, and he picked the elevator shaft to run to that ultimately saved their lives because it was a stronger, the elevator shaft had the strength to withstand, but barely. John McLaughlin was very helpful. Uh, I interviewed him extensively. He answered thousands of questions. Uh, I think there was a feeling of, oh, I really blew it. You know, I really, I may never see my wife again. I may never see my kids again, and I let them down. Um, there was also an incredible well of thanks. You know, he was so thankful to Scotty Fox and Scott Strauss and Bushing and these people that literally risked their lives and stayed with them to get them out. Um, but there is, there is a, a, a strange thing that happens where you take an oath, and it happens with a lot of people in, in service, to protect and to serve. And some of them don't make it. They go in and they, they lose their lives. And their widows are upset because they think they made a choice. You know, you, 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 the building was more important than me or the people in the building were more important than me. And it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. I experienced it once before when I did a movie called Bringing Out the Dead with paramedics. They, uh, they, they get sued more than anybody else. <laughs> and they're just trying to save your life. It's a strange dilemma, but um, I find that paradox fascinating.